2B2T is updating to 1.16 soon. How soon? Well, nobody really knows. But what we do know is that Housemaster has recently been running a 1.16 test server alongside the 1.12.2 main server. This test server has been running quite well with very little lag. That's why it's pretty safe to assume that the main 2B2T server will be updating pretty soon. But before the server eventually does update, there's a few things that all 2B2T players should do to prepare for it. Because think of it, this is the first time ever that 2B2T will be skipping over three different major releases of the game. A lot. And I mean a lot about the game has changed since then. So let's take a look at how you should prepare for when this jump in updates hits 2B2T. Let's start out with something that's seemingly pretty simple. Sand. We all know that this block falls if there's not a solid block beneath it. But 1.12.2 is coincidentally the last version of Minecraft where it's possible to make blocks that are supposed to fall stay put in midair. And right now is your last chance to do it on 2B2T before it updates. Here's how to pull this off. First, grab a flower that's two blocks tall. Then, place any gravity block on top of it. And lastly, break the bottom half of the flower. And voila, you have a floating sand block. Pretty cool, right? Now, like I said, this bug is patched in all subsequent versions of Minecraft, but you still get to keep the floating block into the new updates. So if you have any builds you wanna make that have floating gravity blocks, do it now. Next on the list is to place your shrubs. No, I don't mean dead bushes, but shrubs. I have a whole video explaining the difference. But in a nutshell, this is an item that looks like a dead bush, but the main difference is that you can only place it on grass. Normally, you're not able to get this item in survival mode, but someone on 2B2T somehow got their hands on some and they started to spread around the server. So the reason why you should place them now is because when 2B2T updates, shrubs will convert to regular dead bushes, which I'll explain more as to why later in the video. And you see, Shrubs can only be placed on grass blocks, unlike dead bushes, which can only be placed on sand. Once you place those shrubs and the server updates to 1.16, they'll convert to dead bushes, but will continue to stay on the grass as long as you don't cause a block update. So if you have shrubs, place them while you can, because you can't do it in 1.16. Now for ender pearls. Many players on 2B2T use these for teleporting very long distances. All you have to do is throw a pearl into unloaded chunks, and it's set. Then you can use an alt account to load the pearl anytime you want to return. So where's the issue? Well, the new Minecraft updates actually changes the way ender pearls are assigned to names. In 1.12, it uses player names, but in 1.13 and beyond, it uses UUIDs. This basically means that all pearls that are currently set will no longer load in the player once the server is updated. So if you have a pearl that's set very far away, I'd load it right now and wait for 2B2T to update. Now because 2B2T is still on 1.12, this will be your last chance to load in new 1.12 chunks. 1.16 will be adding some new additions to the terrain, especially with the 1.13 update and oceans. So if you're going to be making a new base and you want to have the old terrain, you should generate it as soon as possible. Now I did say in a previous video that because of these world generation changes, it would make it easier for other players to find your base due to the chunk borders between the old and the new terrain. Now that is halfway true. But if you follow my advice in my how to hide your base video, this really shouldn't be much of an issue. Now for this last bit. This isn't really something you need to be prepared for, but just an occurrence to be aware of. Certain blocks and items, for instance alpha leaves, will cease to exist on the server. And for those who don't know, alpha leaves are the slang term for a glitched, textureless leaf block that is spread all over the server. The reason they're going away is because numeral IDs were switched to string names in the 1.13 update. Plus, the reason alpha leaves don't even have an item texture is because they have an extra data value that was never intended for players to obtain. So because those numbered data values are going away in the next update, all alpha leaf blocks will convert to regular leaves. This also applies to textureless snowballs, textureless horse armor, and shrubs, like I mentioned earlier. 
The Minecraft developers decided not to convert these specific items to string names, likely because they were never intended to be obtainable. These are unlike Alpha Slabs, which actually were intended to be obtained, and will convert over to Petrified Oak Slabs. So, there you go. That's how you should prepare for 2B2T to update to 1.16. If you think I missed anything in the video that you think is a great way to prepare for this update, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to heart it if it's a good idea. Now, don't mind me. I'm gonna go place a lot of floating sand and shrubs on 2B2T.